Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Welcome to my time to journal. An untrained person playing with lots of art supplies and having fun. Join me. Okay, we have seen spring. We have seen me make this paper. Now I'm going to use it. So first, I think I'm going to do my journaling today, which is about women in the um, refugee camp and how they are in charge of everything. Uh, and they kind of run the camps. And I think that's a strong statement. So that's going to be my focus on today's journaling. Now, I will say today takes a turn. <laughs> spring has sprung, but apparently my brain has not sprung. So we shall see what happens. So my journaling is all done. I'm going to take the paper that I made this morning and rip it up and kind of make edges like I've been trying to do a lot from my original inspiration of Journal de Sylvie, I think is how you say it. Um, and I've done it a couple times, but I do like this paper. I like the concept of this paper. Uh, the fact that it was African stamps and I inverted it and then I swirled it and placed them side by side. So now they're placed side by side in my journal and I'm going to try to recreate that green color and make some paint in the middle. Yeah. It's not the right colors. I even swirled that with my credit card uh, spatula type tool. Um, I don't like it at all. At all. So I'm going to pretend like that didn't happen. I have this bit of paper left. And I'm going to see if I can make this work. It doesn't match my journaling. I thought it would. I like the paper. I like the journaling. I don't want to give up either one. How am I going to make this work? So I'm going to go with browns and red because there's brown and red in that paper also, that the handmade paper. Um, as, as Instead of focusing on the green, focus on the browns. Uh, and go everywhere, sort of, and leaving cream space. Um... better just a little bit of red which and it should have been a brick red instead of a bright red that might have been better but that's not what I grabbed that's not what I reached for that looks terrible I am thinking I am regrouping okay here's a piece of magazine paper that I ripped up yesterday maybe I love that shape that I made a couple weeks ago where I painted and then I ripped holes in it well, let's see if that doesn't help the situation I don't know. No. No. So I am going to try to replicate that green color again. See what happens. And paint green on here. Huh. Still not sure I like it. Then I said, okay, let's go over that brown and add green to that too. The magazine page. Okay, that's starting to blend a little bit better, but it looks terrible with the paper that I made on Procreate. So then I take the holes that I ripped out and see if I can't cover up some of that red red. I like that a little better. It's, it's weird. There's something about this that just does not work. So I, I'm going to glue. I'm going to start gluing things down. I'm going to commit, as Amy Tangerine says. I'm going to commit to it. See if I can't make it work. Cover up some of that brown or some of the red with the brown. 
cover up a little bit of the seam and some of that siding on that magazine tearing page and cut up some more little pieces. I maybe use that Procreate paper and cut out little circles of that or just blobs, orbs, tear pieces of orbs of that. Um, it's better. It is not my favorite page, but I do these a lot. And then by the time you get the whole book put together, it is okay. It, it increases in value. <laughs> right now it's at the bottom of the barrel. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. So I decided to add some black borders with Stabilo and paint that and kind of smudge it up a little bit, grunge it up a little bit and see what that does. I'm leaving it like this and we will see what happens. Well, I can't make this page work. <laughs> you know why? I know why. Because I did the journaling first. No, I actually did this first. Because I'm going to glue these two pages together. And pretend like that didn't happen. Or maybe I'll make just a skip in the journey. Okay. Today is a skip in the journey. <laughs> and it's great because it's about women. 30 women are weaving brightly patterned rugs and carpets on the simplest of hand looms. The carpets are made of thick, coarse sheep's wool in bright, strong colors and improvised designs. The women run the camps, they cook, they administrate, and they raise children. That doesn't speak to me of strong women. Hmm. Huh. I think I'm just going to pass this one on by. Maybe you got to get some ugly to get some good. Maybe this page is going to be fabulous. Let's hope so. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow with fabulous, hopefully.